Let's enjoy the beautiful things. Let's keep things simple. Let's take a step into the slow living pace and go back to the basics of homemaking and home life. It's a beautiful spring day. The sunrise was beautiful. My tulips are starting to open and we are just enjoying the slow and simple life of what we have being home. My two little girls and my little almost one year old and I'm just getting us all ready for the day after breakfast and doing hair, get teeth brushed. Um, I got myself dressed and ready, and then it's time to make some sourdough cinnamon rolls. And of course, I had to get some more honey out of my bulk honey, and the girls had to have a few licks and tastes, and it just was kind of a fun little treat for them to enjoy some locally raised honey that we get to use, and I am adding that to my cinnamon rolls. And this recipe is from Lisa on Farmhouse on Boom, so I'll put the link in the description box. But cinnamon rolls are a yummy treat to have every once in a while. So when I go back to the basics, I think enjoying the process of training our children um, in our homes if we can and we have the opportunity to be home with them, it is such a blessing. So just doing a little school with my now five-year-old and then um, outside time because there is no such better learning than being outside in the beauty of God's creation. I love getting my hands dirty in the garden and just enjoying the ground and the breeze and the blooms and yes even the weeds that I get to pull while my kiddos play in the backyard around me. It's just such a blessing like I said to be able to be home with them and enjoy the simplicity of this life that I have that God has blessed me with. it's good for kids to be outdoors and sometimes feel like they have nothing to do because then they get so creative and just little things that they can do and make like one of my girls makes like a flower stew out of lady um, dandelions with little bugs my little guy of course is a boy all right and he pulled a tulip but you know that's okay I'm gonna give him some grace because he's a little boy and then planting and transplanting some of my snapdragons. So I love growing my own snapdragons from seed and I have them growing under a grow light in my house and I wanted to transplant them out of my little seed cell trays to, so that they have more room to grow and thrive hopefully so that I can plant them in May when it gets a little bit warmer mid-May or so. Um, because I just enjoy having beautiful things around and I don't think that's wrong anything wrong with that I think it's okay and you know what I think it's great to get my kids involved get their hands dirty digging in the dirt too and keep things simple and real with them to show them this is what you do to care for and make things beautiful inside the home and outside the home when I care for the home I do a lot to clean up after each meal. I think that's important for me, for my sanity. After every meal, I like to just have a clean set place for the next meal. We have an eat-in kitchen, and so I like to wipe down the table. I'll leave out the waters because we'll drink those throughout the day. Wipe down kids' chairs, trays, do all the dishes, even clean the floor. In this meal, I did really have to clean after the lunch meal because it was tacos and yeah, that just gets pretty messy if you know what I mean when you have little kids eating tacos. Anyways, I just think going back to the basics, clean things, enjoy um, the process as you go. Use the simple things like a broom. Get down on your hands and knees and scrub a little bit and just take time to um, relish in the abilities you have to be able to care for your home in these simple ways. Once 
once in a while, I have to do a good wipe out of my trash can. So I'm just using my water vinegar lemon essential oil spray, letting it sit for a while while I wipe a few more spots on the floor so that it just makes it a little bit easier to get the grime out of the bottom of my trash can. I clean my trash can, I'm gonna share another quote that I found about living more simply. More was never the answer. The answer, it turned out, was always less. So just living simply, having less in our homes, being more present in what we're doing with um, our own selves, with our family, with our kids, I think that is just so important. And that quote really resonates with where I am in my stage of life right now. Our simple, simple supper meal is going to be a chuck roast in the Dutch oven in the oven with some potatoes, onion, garlic, carrots, and then I'll be roasting some beets. We don't have to cook fancy as homemakers to be um, supplying our families well with the nutrition. I think sometimes we overthink what we need to do, but meat, a carb, a veggie and then sometimes side of fruit is the simplest affair that you can have that truly can serve your family well. And I then can reuse the meat in this roast to make sandwich meat later or have it again as leftovers to make a taco. Um, and here I'm just enjoying a little bit of time with my little boy after he woke up from his nap before I continue in the supper prep mode. Sometimes it's hard to release our um, thoughts of what we want things to look like to let our kids help because my little girl was helping me make some cookie dough balls and yeah, they weren't perfect, but she did a nice job in helping and it took longer, but how else are we going to teach them if we don't let them get their hands dirty and we release our hands of what we are doing to train them? seared my roast on both sides, took it out, sauteed the onion and garlic, and then put the roast back in with a um, some chicken broth. And it's supposed to be some wine, but I didn't have that, so I just used water. Anyways, to my beets now. Beets, I love. I roast my beets. I pickle my beets. I'm excited for garden season here because I can then um, have my fresh own garden beets. These were just from Azure, but they're so delicious and so simple. Like I said, it's just a vegetable with some oil and salt and it just is a nutritious meal with the, or nutritious side with the rest of the meal. I peek out my window to see one of my favorite sites, flowers blooming. My five-year-old wanted to plant a seed packet she had gotten for her birthday, so I blocked off this little corner for her so she can put her seeds in there. And we'll see what they do, if they grow or not, but I think the most important part is giving her the responsibility of watering it, taking care of it, and learning what it is to, again, grow things from yourself, from on your own, from seed to see it thrive and grow. And again, the responsibility of caring for it. That's part of just training our kids and living simply in the slow life and not just always buying everything, but doing it ourselves. A little afternoon latte time. Even if I have to hold my little guy, I'm still not letting that be an interruption to be able to enjoy it and let my kids come along with me. And also then a little break for my girls after they have their quiet time and nap. They get to watch a little bit of a show. I'll be in their present or in the kitchen folding laundry. My little guy's playing behind me, but we're all still in each other's presence. And I love that about being home. We can all be around each other and we live in such a small home anyways that we're often around each other. But it's just part of that slow, simple life that I cherish. I 
finishing up with adding the vegetables and the potatoes into the Dutch oven an hour or so before the roast was done and it's snack time. So yes, I'm getting my little guy some homemade yogurt because that's one of his favorite snacks. My crab apple blossoms are just blooming and I am enjoying and savoring them as they do not last long. Then I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleaning of my outdoor cushions because it's time to bring them back out and I'm so excited. Spring really brings about a new life and new things around the home and I enjoy what I can do to make everything fresh and new again. My husband was home from work and so he was spending some time outside with the kids while I sat at the table and just kind of enjoyed a quiet moment to myself or listening to an audiobook or something but just getting things ready, final things ready for the meal. The beautiful thing about doing things from hand and from scratch is how much it pays off. My family is wonderful about appreciating the hard work it goes that goes into making like these cinnamon rolls and just the beauty that they have in um, just going from all these different ingredients separate to creating this delicious wonderful breakfast treat and it's just something that you know our grandmothers used to do and that so many people before us used to do things from scratch and it's something that i value and cherish and i hope that i can have my children enjoy that too the evening has settled in my husband freshly mowed our lawn and i'm enjoying the sunset as the night is coming to an end after the kiddos are put to bed, one of my favorite things to do is reset the kitchen. I'm starting the dishwasher, I'm getting the counters wiped, getting some other surfaces wiped off as well, and just reset for the next day because this life I live continues day in and day out. Yes, there are challenging moments, and yes, there are so many rewarding moments. I try to keep myself in the right mindset of knowing that what I am doing is good and I am glorifying the Lord in all I do and just trying to keep that in the forefront of my thoughts. So I hope that you enjoyed coming along today and that you can enjoy living in the simple life and getting back to the basics of homemaking.